Okay, and welcome back students who are taking math for business and finance and math applications. And we're continuing on with the chapter 9 summary practice test. And we have problems 5 and 6 to do, right? Uh, let's, let's scroll down there, get there. Okay, number 5. Right now, in, uh, for this one here, I had said um, uh, we're I'm going to... Uh, use a comparison. Um, we're going to do the percentage method, which this question asks about, but I'm also going to uh, go into the bracket method a little bit. Um, remember, the bracket method is only for, you know, really small. It's only used for very few employees because it's it's a lot easier just to open up the the book and quickly look at the table. It takes less time than it is to be trying to put two, three, or four, or five uh, employees' information in a software program and, and spit all that stuff out. It's oftentimes just easier to do it that way. And even when you have the smaller operation of two, three, four, five people, they generally don't have the software. So you use the, the bracket method, okay? But there's also going to be a, an interesting wrinkle to this. So uh, let me just get started and um, work through this. Okay, so it says Grace Kelly earns 2000 per week. So her gross pay is 2000 um, She's married and claims two exemptions. So what is her income tax or federal withholding tax? And it's asking to use the percentage method. So let me bounce up to the, uh, the tables that we need. Okay, so um, this was weekly, right? And that means each allowance is 7308. And she had two of them, so we're multiplying by two, and that gives us 146.16. Um, to find out how much is taxable, we take the 2000, and then we subtract the 146.16, and we're left with um, 1853.84. Okay, so this is the amount uh, that we use to determine um, how much is with you know what amount to withhold from um, it's a weekly payroll and she's married so we're looking at this column here and it says over 490 but not over 1515 over 1515 but not over 2900 so this is the line that we're going to use right the over 1515 but not over 2900 okay because our uh, the amount falls in between those two and it says that there's um, we're t having a deduction of 187.15 that's on that base amount of 100 uh, 1515 so 187.15 plus and now we have Remember, that's the amount on this base amount of 1515. That's how much is withheld out of that amount. So now we have to find out what the amount is over that 1515. That's why it says in excess over 1515 right here. Okay, And that's going to be at 25%. So to find out how much is over, we subtract, by, we subtract the 1515. And that ends up giving us um, 338. 84. So that's the amount that's over 1515, and we multiply that by the 25%, which our table tells us to multiply by, and that gives us an amount of $84.71. So the $84.71 is how much tax, oops, is how much tax on the overage. So again, this, this here, right here, it's, we're looking at that line item, so there's two parts here. There's the base amount, 187.15, which is how much is withheld on the 1515, and then we have to find the overage amount, so what's over the 1515, and that's taxed at 25%. So when we have those two amounts, the 187.15 plus the 84.71, that's going to equal um, 271.86. Okay, so that is the amount of federal withholding. That's the answer for question number five. Now, um, let's take a look at the uh, bracket method here. Okay, 
So we, um, we would go into our circular E and look at our, uh, find our bracket chart for married and weekly, right? And in this case here, it had said uh, she had two deductions. So we're going to look at the figures in this column. Now, I took a partial, okay, uh, of the, the table. So you can see it only goes up to 1,080 to 1,090. It doesn't go all the way up to 2,000. OK, um, so I'm just going to use this last row here in order to use just to show you an example of how we're going to use this particular chart. But the reality of it is, and this is the little uh, quirk in that this chart only goes up to fourteen hundred dollars. OK, it doesn't go up to two thousand at the very bottom of the chart you'll see the $1,400, and then what it, it tells you, it actually refers you to the percentage method. And you have to do the percentage method on any wage over the $1,400, okay? And again, the reason for that is, is that, um, you know, uh, this chart was only designed um, for a few employees and for lower amounts. You know, when you're taking tax on $2,000, that's a lot more money than what you're going to be withholding on $1,400, okay? And Uncle Sam wants to be getting that money. The more money they can get, that's the more money they have to be able to use. So they create the charts up to a certain point, and then anybody who gets paid over and above that um, has to actually use the percentage method. But let's just assume that um, for whatever reason, uh, the pay here was $1,085, okay, the gross pay. Well, the way this works is, let me let me write that up here instead. Gross pay. Let's say the gross pay was a um, thousand and eighty-five dollars instead of the two thousand. All right. So what we do is we know we're going to be looking in this two withholding allowance column, and then we come over here and it says and the wages are. So we're going to be looking at our wages right here, what our gross pay is. It says at least but less than. So when you're looking at this, it says at least $800, but less than 810. Well, 810 less than that is seven, uh, $809.99. The next line says at least 810. Okay. This is less than. This is at least. Right. So uh, when you're Playing between the numbers there, you, you have to make sure that you're on the right line depending upon the column uh, that you're in. If I have a, most of the times it's going to be pr pretty clear cut, like in this case here, 1,085. I'm going to come down here and it's, I'm, you know, the person was paid at least 1,080 because they're being paid 1,085. But they're being paid less than 1,090. Less than 1,090. Okay not less than or equal to 1,090, okay? This column here is the equal to, greater than or equal to, all right, 1,080. So we know that 1,085 is gonna be on this column, on this row, and then we go all the way over and we look at the number of exemptions and it's 101. So that's that would be the amount that would be used for withholding um, of the federal withholding tax on $1,085. And you can see it's relatively easy to find that number versus doing all of the math. But when you, you're getting paid a lot more, the difference uh, is going to be a lot larger. And in reality, the, you know, the charts, the vast number of employees are, you know, not going to be making, you know, $1,400 a week. You know, they're always, they're going to be making less than $1,400. It's not to say that there isn't a, a higher percentage. It's just that the majority of people are going to earn less than 1400 so why have all of these extra pages in this manual and this uh, PDF that would be printed out and blah 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 it's easier just to say hey go ahead and use the uh, the percentage method and oftentimes you're going to be using a, a computer anyway so that's why uh, you do what you're doing what you're, you're doing okay so I hope that was understandable all right if not you know feel free the telephone okay and so back to our last problem here it says uh, uh, Jean McCod uh, pays his two employees 900 and 1200 per week assume a state unemployment tax of 5.7 percent yep 
and a federal unemployment tax of 0 0.8. Uh, the reason why I was concerned about the 5.7 was because remember in uh, the, let's see here, uh, uh, come on, where was it? One of these problems actually had said the it was 5.1%, but that's besides the point. Right, for this problem, SUDA is 5.7 and FUDA is 0 0.8. Um, what state and federal unemployment taxes will uh, Jean pay at the end of quarter one and quarter two? Okay, since we have two employees, um, and each quarter, all right, remember there's 52 weeks in a year, and we divide that by four because it's quarterly means we have 13 weeks in a in a quarter. Okay, so for quarter one, we have $900 times 13, which gives us 11,700, and we have 1,200 times 13 which gives us 15,600. All right, now, both of those are over the limits of 7,000, okay? So, for a FUTA, in, for a FUTA okay, it's, um, the limit is 7,000, so only 7,000 is taxable for the first person and 7,000 is taxable for the second person, right? So that's two 7,000s, or 14,000, and that's at 5 point, I'm sorry, 0.8%, which is $112, okay? And the same thing with SUDA, all right? It's 14,000 times the 5.7%, and that comes out to $798 for SUDA. Okay, 112 for FUDA and 798 for SUDA. Okay. Now, for quarter number two, since both employees are over the limit, there's no more taxable. So the amount of FUTA and SUDA um, for quarter number two is zero, okay? Because they both reached the limit in the first quarter, right? right there. All right, so that's it. And if you have any questions, I mean, payroll is important to, to everyone. And hopefully, you know, this chapter gives you some insight into how your payroll is calculated. And if you have any additional questions, you know, feel free to give us a call, okay? Or email us or you know, contact us through uh, the uh, your My Courses page. All right, thanks and have a great one.